Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the Death March difficulty. We're still playing Blood and Wine DLC and uh, we finished it in the previous episode but we got a new quest, be it ever so humble, just stating that we need to go home. Well, uh, Corvo Bianco is our new uh, home and we just mentioned that he left a little something for us at our nightstand. So let's take a look around here, probably inside of the home next to my bed. Let's see, okay, Jesus, come on, Geralt, up the stairs, and there we Master have BB. Some unknown individual barged into the residence. I resisted as best I could, but to no avail. Who is it? Alas, they did not do me the basic courtesy of introducing themselves. Hmm, is it Yennefer? Could be Yennefer. I think it might be Yennefer. Because Yennefer is kind of a rude person. There's nothing here yet, aside from my armor, that lovely armor on the stand. Honey, I'm home. It's gonna be Yennefer, right? Can't think of anybody else, but it could be a lot of other people, but... Unexpected there we go! I knew it! Hello, darling. Ah, oh, big hug. How are you? And beautiful as ever. Won't you even ask why I've come? Or how I found you? Wouldn't get a straight answer anyway. <laughs> Quite true. Used to bother me all your secrets. Now I know if you have something to tell me, you'll tell me. Don't need to ask. I missed you, Geralt. Madly. Come outside. We can hold hands and stare at the sky. Like some shitty two-crown romance. Well, it's not a shitty two crown romance now, is it, Jennifer? But sure, we'll stare at the sky. But not in the sun, sun mind you. We don't want to get blind. Um, ooh. It's just white entries. So, brought a lot of books. Good. Brought quite a few books. Let me guess. Working on a new spell? Not at all. These aren't grimoires, just pleasure reading. The name of the Orchid. A widower for half a year. <laughs> Always thought you were too busy to make time for something as impractical as pleasure reading. Because I was. But now, I'm not. A few weeks ago, I awoke to the realization that I know not what to do next. I have no plan. I have no goal. And you know what? I like that. Finally, I can stop thinking about politics and focus on what's important to me. Which is why I came here. Great. That's really great, Yen. It's also very... I'm gonna assume this scene plays out completely differently depending on which choices you made in the main game. Uh, in particular, the way you treated Triss and Yennefer. Uh, but hey, Toussaint, you like it? Liking Toussaint so far? Hmm... The landscape's lovely, and the towns are charming, no question about that. But? But the southern sun plays havoc with my wardrobe. To be blunt, wear black down here and you're pretty damn hot. Hmm. <laughs> you're still you pretty damn hot. Changing your color palette. Off-white and pea-green, for instance. <laughs> and I'll wear scents distilled from turnips and daisies. <laughs> I think I shall simply stay in the shade. And you'll bring me cool drinks. At regular intervals. Oh, I guess we'll be able to do that. You, whatever you want. Okay. Having a house feel... Whoa, that... That pheasant is doing something really weird in the background. Yep, it's... it's it keeps going. I think it's kind of on a loop. Is it gonna flip back again or not? Um, well, okay. Having a house feels strange. You know, feels kind of strange having a home. Hmm, I must say I never pictured you owning real estate. <laughs> Was something of an accident, but I'm not about to complain. Yeah, indeed. Oh, there it goes yeah. again. Back then, before we fought the hunt, said you wanted to run away with me to the world's end. This vineyard, good enough? Hmm, yes, although there's one thing missing. Namely? It is, there is. I shall give you a hint. It's large. 
<laughs> has four legs. Category taxidermy. I think it's a oh, unicorn. Yeah. The unicorn. How are we gonna Fine. get that here? Oh, never mind. Magic down here. I knew you'd see things my way. <laughs> are we gonna have a little scene like that again? But we made it. Found our happy ending. Who would have thunk? Yes, indeed. Who would have thunk that? Day would come. Me and you, peace and quiet. Bees buzzing, birds chirping, I pheasants flipping. I delaying so long before coming to you. I was quite the silly goose. You or have pheasant. doubts. Though I imagine it might have been hard coming after me. Always were proud as a peacock. Please, Geralt. I'm not like other sorceresses to feel that following someone means my wings have been clipped. Ooh, watch what you say about your colleagues. Remember, it's an ill bird that fouls its own nest. Well said, Witcher. You're not only handsome, but wise, too. I feel a bit like the cat that got the canary. Yeah, and I'm... Mm. <laughs> the canary. This time. Ha! Okay, that, that I think that was all anyway, the... Uh... Our duels in wordplay. Forgotten. It was out of vernissage in Bannard. You started it to keep from going mad with boredom. I remember finding your sense of humor both groan-worthy and somehow endearing. Never change, Geralt. I beg you. I don't think he will. Uh, well, that is actually all we have in uh, the sake of uh, conversation options. So let's talk later, honey. So, talk again later? Of course. I'm not going anywhere. Are you sure? Quest updated, be it ever so humble. And probably completed. Yeah, there we go. And there goes the pheasant. Tr more pheasants going through the water. I don't think they do that. I really don't think they do that. But hey. Uh, bye. Yeah, we, we actually... Wow. I, I wonder if I ever saw the... The user interface without a, an active quest. That is both fitting and a bit weird. Uh, but hey, I'm going to first check inside of the house. Because there should be something that Regis left us on the nightstand. Because I thought that was what we're going to do here. Apparently we didn't. Uh, there's also a lot that has changed around here. Uh, most likely inside as well. Let's see. So now we should have a bigger bed. Oh yeah, look at that. What a fancy bed. And that's the nightstand. So let's loot it. A muta generator. Okay, and let's loot the letter from Regis. And let's read that. Okay, looks like a big one. But here we go. Dear Geralt, if you are reading these words, it means I am already far beyond the borders of Toussaint. And you have found my muta generator. Of course, you may dub this instrument however you like. Perhaps something more fitting to your taste or better reflecting its function, where I have no doubt your knowledge on the subject of mutagens is far more profound than Toro and Toro than mine. I have been working on this device in my spare time, but now it is finished and I am convinced, as convinced as an inventor can be, before his invention has been used as intended, of the usefulness of this apparatus. You are surely wondering what function it is meant to serve, as the name indicates the muta generator generates mutagens. It operates by absorbing electromagical energy waves from bodies, in this case the bodies of the monsters and evildoers you kill, and when it has absorbed enough so as to be charged a critical amount, the muta generator changes the stored energy into a greater mutagen, which I suspect you will make good use of. As you surely understand, I am an amateur engineer, which is why you must forgive the lack of an ability for you to direct this operation. Which mutagen emerges as a result is determined at random, meaning chance will decide if it is a green, red or blue mutagen. Chance, yet I have noted the colors tend to alternate by and large. I trust you shall find my gift useful. Your dearly devoted friend, Emile Regis Rohelic Terzif Godefroy. P.S. You might be wondering why I accept, why I decided to toss the muta generator into your home instead of simply handing it to you in person. Well, you must know I did it out of modesty, believe it or not. Take care, Geralt, and may my gift serve you well. Well, thank you, Regis. We'll probably be able to use that pretty soon. Because, well, we uh, we kind of need uh, mutagens to uh, create those 
mutations, as we can check out in the character menu here. So let's go back to that menu because we have two more ability points and I think I can select another mutation. Oh, never mind. I need three ability points to unlock piercing cold. Huh, that's interesting. So I don't really care about toxic blood. This one is it more interesting. Sword attacks deal 25% more damage to human opponents, immune to counterattacks and monsters. In all other cases, if the attacker's vitality is less than 25%, a counterattack immediately triggers a finisher. So I think I'm going to go for this then, although I want to go... What was the other one here? Increase silent damage dealt by 50% of their own damage dealt. So let's not... I'm going to just wait until I get another ability point to get Piercing Cold, and then eventually uh, the Conductors of Magic. But that's what we need those mutagens, those greater mutagens for. Let's see what we can actually place here. Oh yeah, that golden stick of joy, that golden joystick that uh, CD Projekt Red won. And uh, is now right here, look at that. Um, let's see what else has changed. Uh, most of the other stuff is down in the basement, I presume. I never actually went upstairs, so let's take a look here. Another bed with a... Wait a second. Isn't that the color scheme that Geralt mentioned that he wanted for Yennefer in, uh, instead of the black and white? Kind of looks like it. Pea green and uh, off-white. Kind of looks like that. Is there actually a way to get up there, I wonder? Because it doesn't seem like it. There's a lot of furniture here now. But I don't seem to be able to get higher. Hello, Marlena. No, it doesn't look like we can, actually. Is that maybe from outside? How do we get... Oh, it doesn't look like there even is much of an area over there. Huh. Interesting. Maybe check with the Major Domo first, then? Renovations coming along all right. I am delighted to inform you we have completed our labors. You can now devote yourself to enjoying the vineyard's delights to the fullest. Seems like we can't do any work then. Forgive me my temerity, sir, but I thought with all the work on Corfo Bianco completed and with the estate looking more beautiful than ever, it might be appropriate to commemorate the moment. It might be, so uh, sure, we should celebrate that in fact. Sure, why not? During the tidying that preceded the renovations, I came across a bottle of Sepramento, the 1250 vintage. I cannot say by what miracle it survived, but it is here. And we've course to open it today. Indeed we do. And then he I also think we have two car, dozen barrels of... Uh... All oh, there's, there's Yennefer. What is she doing? So they only laughed, even when the decor began to catch fire. Sangreal, we have two, two dozen barrels of Sangreal. Beard, that folk began to realize something was amiss and went to put out the fires. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Monsieur Bolius and Madame Nina threw some first-rate balls here. It was so. In this regard, Baron Rossell was decidedly more reserved. So tell me, Barnabas Basil, what's the wine situation like here? Am I going to produce any this year? This year is out, I fear, sir. Last autumn, a fungus destroyed all the vines. Baron Rossell had new ones planted, but it will be some time before they start bearing fruit. Assuming that is, the fungus does not reappear. Mm, Can we do something bad. about that? This Sepramento got me dreaming. It's amazing. Isn't it, though? Allow me to top you off, sir. There. Thanks. Thanks, BB. What is Yennefer doing over there? I think she's just still lying in that bed. Okay, so that was 10 more experience points and well, BB uh, has fallen asleep. So completed no place as ho like home as well because we actually never finished that quest, which is pretty cool. Let's see what else we can do. I'm gonna use the grindstone uh, the grindstone, yeah, and the armor stable. There we go. My items have been enhanced. And then, well, what else can we do? I'm gonna check out the quest log and see what else we can do. So, we uh, still have the treasure hunt called Spontaneous Profits that was linked to one of the spoons we found 
at uh, Marlene's house, the Spotted White's house. So let's read the note attached to the spoon. Okay, it took me a while, but I found it in the inventory. It's actually under quest items. The spoon key note. Let's read it. This certifies the item up for auction, an antique spoon key forged at the Christofferson and Sons workshop in 1210, belongs to Smigole Circus, owner of the pheasantry. Interesting. So uh, now we have to ask the owner of the pheasantry about the mysterious spoon. So let's, uh, I'll see you guys back there in a minute. So back in Beauclair, let's see if we can't find the pheasantry. And uh, have a little chat with the owner about the uh, mysterious spoon. Uh, let's see, should be this lovely establishment probably. A noble women. Uh, it's not her apparently. I need to go through the door. Hello, the pheasantry. Are there more glitching pheasants over here? Uh, hello, Inkeep. Wipe your boots before you take another step. Don't slurp your food. Don't eat with your hands. Don't pick your teeth with your knife. Oh, what? take it easy, woman. Oh, I'm just jesting. Woman. You, sir, clearly were not born in a barn. Welcome to the pheasantry. The best auberge in all the duchy. Auberge? Ever seen a spoon like this? Spoon like this? When you set a place, where's it go? My, oh my. It seems rather a fanciful bouillon spoon. Or a key of some sort. There's a note here. Yeah, note let me hear. Any idea what the key might open? Never seen it before. But you might search the cellars. The previous owner left all sorts of knickknacks there. Interesting. I'm actually surprised that you allow me to go uh, rummage around in your cellar. But thanks, I'll do that. See you later. Eat, drink, and be merry. That's um, so I'm gonna suppose that I can go around the back here to this door. And let's take a look in the cellar then. All sorts of knickknacks. What's this? Weird symbols on the walls. I could loot all the food here, but I'm gonna be friendly. Because, well, I don't want to steal from this lovely woman. Let's take a look around. Seems to be a large red cupboard over here. I wonder if it's that thing. Let's open it up. Smigole Louis Circus's cookbook. Okay. Book contains hundreds of recipes, but instead of the recipe for Beauclairois rabbit on the last page, there are only a few chaotically written lines. Lebioda's weeping wounds have scoured dozens of elven manuscripts and at last I've found it. I know now what the spoon key I purchased at auction unlocks. It is nothing else but the key to the legendary studio of Ramses Gorton, the elven priest of the goddess Danamebi. Danamebi? whose culinary masterpieces remain unmatched by even the best of our modern chefs. If I can find the ruins of this temple said to be somewhere in the Beauclair forest, I'll find all of his legendary recipes, not to mention the other priceless treasures this Grand Master Chef must have kept in the kitchen where he perfected his art. The rest of the page is covered with a large greasy stain. Okay then, find Gorton, Gorton Studio, seriously? Gordon, Gordon, Gordon Ramsay then. Can I check that letter again? I probably missed a few more hints. This is locked, I can't open it. So let's go find uh, Gordon Ramsay's studio then. And look for the treasure. So I'll see you guys in the uh, Beauclair forest apparently in a minute. Wait a second. Now, now that I came back outside, Guillaume from the uh, Warble of a Smitten Night Quest is uh, walking around drunkenly outside. Uh, you must remember, remember that this is actually the safe where he doesn't get together with uh, Vivian. Um, hello, Guillaume. Guillaume, what, what are you doing here? Leave me be. Without my Vivian, life has no meaning. You are the last to whom I wish to speak. Okay. <sighs> Guillaume de Longfall. Character updated. And he just fell down. Okay. Well, that's that, I suppose. I wonder if anything else happens if you uh, if you did get him together with Vivian. But they were going to go far away, so I don't think we would uh, bump into them again. But I'll go to Gordon's studio now, so see you guys there in a minute. So it looks like we're getting pretty close to the forest. It, uh, this actually took me a while to get here, because uh, the Toussaint map is a lot 
bigger than I uh, anticipated before. Look at this place. Looks like elven ruins. So let's uh, dismount and let's take a look around here. Horton's studio and look for the treasure. Treasure? Okay. Angry noises. Is this treasure? Well, there's food here anyway. And I don't think this is where we need to be. Because uh, the the marker leads me down here. Oh, God, that was not what I intended to do. That was a heavy drop. Um, yeah, okay, so we can enter the ruins from over here. Anything in the pot? Warrens. Okay, let's enter. Hello. And that apparently opened the door, so that's what the spoon key was for. Okay. Is this treasure? Okay, that was it. Recipe for Etoile Blanche Pasta. So the white star. It's French for the, the white star. Uh, honey spice cake recipe. Crayfish boil recipe. Five rubies, nine diamonds. Holy shit. Three silver spoons, a golden mug, diamond radium ingot, mallet, a master sword, silk, broken meteorite pickaxe, and the formula for uh, transmuting mutagens from green to blue. Let's read that, actually. Yeah, Gordon Ramsay's Gorton. So Gordon Ramsay's recipe for white uh, white star pasta. Is that yeah, you fool? Okay, so he's he's, uh, he's uh, cursing all the time in his recipes as well. Remember al dente, you fool. Yeah. Okay. And then the mutagen transmutator. Nothing of interest in that. Don't get the rest of the recipes. Fiorano wine. Let's take a look here. More interesting ingredients. Let's take all that. I can actually loot each shelf separately. So thanks for all that. That was actually really cool. Anything else here? Doesn't look like it. So this is supposed to be Hell's Kitchen then. Hell's Kitchen. Well, Gordon Ramsay's Hell's Kitchen, not the New York's Hell's Kitchen. That was cool. Spoon. 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 What was that? Ooh, the the the, the banshee. Seriously. Uh, a banshee is something that is spoken of in the books and is a, a raid that only appears on a certain day. And uh, it is said that if you see the banshee, you're gonna die. Hopefully not us. Because I don't want to die, I don't want to die. Oh shit! Shit! What the what the fuck was that? Oh, she's stunned. I got her. I got her. Banshee. So, of course, Banshees, as we know them, but uh, written a bit different. Three, three lunar shards, three infused dust, spectre dust, and essence of wraith. Not bad, actually. Not bad at all. But, of course, a stronger variant of the normal rates, I suppose. Of uh, noon rates or, yeah, any of the other choices. I actually wonder. You can actually access the upper half of this ruin. Might as well jump up there as well and take a look. Anything here? A chest. The Sand Ducal Guard Officer's Gauntlets and another Mutator Formula. There's nothing around here. Nothing on this side either. And I'm gonna assume nothing in here as well then. Okay! So with that done, I think I'm gonna take a little break. So thank you guys normally for watching. When we get back, uh, I'm not really sure yet. I might do the what if episodes or I'm gonna just continue on with uh, a lot of the side quests because there are actually a buttload of side quests in uh, Blood and Wine. But with that said, thank you guys normally for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel because I'd really appreciate any support you guys can give me. 
So thanks again enormously for watching and I hope to see you in the next video series. Goodbye.